Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video I'm excited to introduce two brand new CMS features called Conditionals and Transforms. These features unlock all new use cases and allow you to do much more with the data in your CMS collection. And I have prepared this little demo to show you three examples. In our little collection here, we have a bunch of movie reviews. We have a title, a date, a movie poster. And here we have a few fields that are not shared across all items. Not all items have a YouTube link and not all items have a banner image. Plus we have a rating per movie and a tint color per movie as well. And you can see all of the fields over here as well. And let me open the first one so you can have a quick peek at how the data is populated. For this movie, we have a poster, a YouTube link, but no banner image, and then a rating, tint, and our review paragraph. So let's start with the first example. I'll open up one of the detailed pages and you can see our first issue right here. As you have seen in our collection here, we have a YouTube link for this movie review, but we don't have a banner image. This is a very common setup. We want to conditionally show and hide a leading asset. So what's happening here is that our movie banner correctly has the fill assigned to the banner variable from the CMS. But for this specific item, the banner is not set in the CMS at all. So for this page, we do not get an image from the CMS at all. And that's why you see this blank frame. Now, traditionally, you would have to add a toggle variable to your collection and define it for every single item in the CMS. With this release, this is no longer necessary and there is a much easier way. With the movie banner selected, I can head over to the visible property click on it and I'm now presented with a menu of conditions. So here we can say only set visible to true if the banner is actually set in the CMS collection. So this is our new condition UI. You can see in the property panel that visible depends on a condition. The variable used for our condition is the banner. And the condition we're checking for is whether or not the banner is set in our CMS. So while things look good here, let's check the next detail page. Here you can see we still get the banner image. So our condition works both ways. However, on this page, we do not get a YouTube link from the CMS. So we don't want to display a video. We only want to display a banner image. So again, I can head over to the visible property. In this case, I want to check if the YouTube variable is set in the CMS collection. So I'll add the is set condition there. So the condition is right, but we added it to the wrong layer. As you can see in the layer panel, our video is actually wrapped in a little stack. So we want to be sure to apply our condition there. Undoing or deleting conditions is very simple. In our case, I can simply hit Command Z to undo it. I can then select the parent stack and apply the same condition there. So I'll head over to the visible property, select the YouTube variable and check whether or not it is set. And as you can see, the YouTube video is now properly hidden on this page. And if we go back to the first page, the banner image is still hidden and the YouTube video appears. So we've now correctly added our conditionals. And by using these new features, we did not have to add any new fields to our CMS collection. We now have control over which content displays on which page simply by editing our CMS. That's it for the first example. Let's now continue to the second example where we take a look at how we can add a transform to text. Above each paragraph, we have this little title that says review, but it's the same for each item in our collection. Ideally, we could reference the movie title here as well. This release also adds the ability to transform text. 
In this case, we could add suffixes and prefixes to existing variables. So first, I can pull in the actual title here by referencing the title variable. This is the same thing we do over here. To add a transform, I'll click on content and then hit add transform and I can select a prefix or suffix. Here with the suffix selected, we could add any copy at the end of our variable. And this will say lock review. I can also switch this to be a prefix, allowing us to type something in front of our title variable, like maybe movie review, and then the title. I think I prefer the suffix, but I want to highlight that you can also chain your transforms. In other words, I can add another prefix here. So we can really construct a little sentence around a variable. And now we have applied both a suffix and a prefix to a single variable. This is a very flexible and powerful concept that allows you to get really creative with your CMS content. For this demo, I think the suffix suffices, so I'll remove the prefix. And that's pretty much it for the second example here. I can cycle through a few different posts to see that all these titles are working correctly. With our transforms in place, let's have a look at our third example. I'll go back to the index page and I would like to add a little badge next to each title if the rating equals five stars. As you can see, we currently have two movies that we have rated five stars. I have already created a little badge. Let me bring that back. There we go. So now we have this little badge that appears on every single item within our CMS collection list. So how would we go about doing this? We know we have the rating number in our CMS collection and we have this little badge in our collection list. So the condition we're after is checking if the rating number equals a certain amount. We only want it to be visible if the rating equals five. So with our condition added, I can start cycling through the values. And as I do so, notice how the badge starts appearing behind each movie title that has the same rating. And with the value set to five, we now have the badge showing up correctly only for the movies that have five star ratings. With these conditions, we're essentially adding little bits of logic to our CMS pages. I think this is super cool as it allows you to do so much more with your CMS content in Framer. If you would like to try some of these new features yourself, I'll be sure to include a link to this demo project in the description down below. That's pretty much it for this video. We hope you enjoy this CMS update. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.